69. Uh, as far as the Jason Ellis thing, let me address that now because I got Cat Temp coming in at the top of the hour. And um, we were talking about Kevin Pillar, the, the Toronto Blue Jays uh, center fielder who got in trouble for calling. Again, I never even, I, they said a homophobic slur or whatever, called the pitcher who struck him out. I'm, I'm guessing cocksucker or whatever. And he getting all kinds of shit for it. And he went on Twitter and backpedaled and ma- made that mistake. And uh, first of all, uh, Jason Ellis, there was a few things he kind of mischaracterized as far as what went on Friday. I didn't talk about it for two hours. We brought it up at the beginning of the show and the phones lit up and, um, we, you know, we did like, I don't know, a segment or two on it. I, I, but, uh, you know, so we didn't talk about it for the whole show. I have a two-hour show here. And I also mentioned, and I, I noticed Jason Ellis didn't mention this, that, you know, I also mentioned I have a, a, somebody close to me who's transgender, and I wouldn't wish that on anybody because it's a hard thing to go through, and that I've evolved on the issue. It's not just a boy and a girl. There's, it's a spectrum. There's a lot of stuff in between. And, uh, yeah, there was some over-the-top comments made mostly by the caller a lot of them by the callers i can't control how they feel how strongly they feel uh about something but my 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 other points were um that in my opinion that the whole transgender thing is overrepresented on tv i was talking about the food network specifically not just transgender gay and transgender and and by the way the, the number I got off the internet, and I looked it up on a few places, as far as transgender, they make up 0.03% of the population in this in this country, which is about 720,000 people. And I, and I said, if you watch the Food Network or the show Chop, you think it was uh, 7 out of 10 people were transgender. And I'll stick by that argument. We talk about what, it, it dominates the news so much in pop culture, and uh, I'll stick by that. I, I think it, they're overrepresented. As far as that goes. Um, and the other big point I was making about Kevin Pillar specifically, you should be able to say that type of stuff on a ball field. There's the one place you should be able to say anything you want when you pissed at somebody is the ball field. And when a, when a player calls another, when a, when a guy calls a pitcher out who struck him out a cocksucker, do you think he literally means it? Not, not that you have to, I guess, to hurt somebody. Right. But I'm sorry. We have, uh, we have the ball fields and we have uh, right now... We have still have comedy clubs, but I don't know how long that's gonna gonna last. Um, and I'm just wondering if, if Jason Ellis was all over Stephen Colbert when he talked about Trump being a cock holster for Putin. Maybe he was. I don't listen to the show. Maybe he did. Um, but but I'm just saying there's some places you can say anything you want, and that's so especially in an athletic event. Uh, you just say you know you should be able to say anything you want. So uh, those are the specific points. And 98 percent of the callers agreed with me, but that's because. Uh, you know, they're probably fans of my comedy. They know how I voted. But uh, to say that we spent the whole show on it and, and, and that, uh, you know, it was just gay bashing and blah, 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 that, that is not the case, in my opinion. And I bet you if I met Jason Ellis, I'd like him and vice versa. But this is what happens. You're so quick to point to call somebody racist, homophobic, or whatever. And I'm not saying it, some of the calls we got weren't in that nature. But uh, to make it sound like we bashed gay people for two hours, I don't think that was the case uh, at all. So <laughs> I'm looking for I'm looking for some of the uh, earlier on the call screen. There was a bunch of things, and I I told them I talk about it later, and I brought it up then. And if they want to call them back, uh, they can address it. Um, we have about a minute, real quickly. Uh, line three. Rick in Rockland, real quick. I only got a minute, Rick. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Um, last time I spoke to you was the day Imus was going on Sharpton's show, so you uh, mentioned backpedaling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, real quick, I've been studying all of your uh, tough crowd stuff. You and Patrice are my two <laughs> favorites of all time. Yeah. And there was a, one episode with you, Keith, Todd Glass, and a guy named Jimmy Martinez. Yeah. And I know that other guys have bumped heads with you in the past on that show, but I've never seen more tension between two comics before, he actually like looked at you and said, "Watch your mouth. This isn't the circuit." And it was—I don't know if you remember that episode. Yeah. But it was the day that Todd Glass was going on about something. And he said, "All black people want." And you said, "Is a good haircut." A good haircut, Jimmy Martinez, who I love, by the way, and he laughed his ass off. That was one of the best lines on that show. Uh, he, he yeah, didn't laugh at that, but it was just like an uncomfortable tension. Yeah, well, that's what makes the tough crowd great. 
That's, I love that's it. what made that show great. Now they try to hide that tension, and uh, that's the only way we can break through these walls is to say stuff. And Jimmy Martinez laughed his ass off. Thank you for the call, Rick. And and uh, yeah, he, he laughed his ass off. We all had a good time. So I'll be back with a great cat temp right after this.